In this video, I'm going to share with you my top five print-on-demand websites for 2021. Let's go! Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts, the channel all about helping you design and sell t-shirts online. If that's something you like to do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. In this video, I'm going to talk about my top print-on-demand websites for 2021. Now, these are my personal top five. They may not work out for you, but they work out for me. And these are the ones that have been my top five at the end of last year. And I'm going to use them in the beginning of this year, 2021. Uh, these are the ones that made me the most profit. They had the most sales uh, and so on. So my hope in this video is because these websites work for me, that they'll work for you. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you all these websites. I'm going to break it down how much you can make for each shirt. I'm gonna show you what kind of designs sell well here, what kind of audience is looking at these t-shirts. I'm gonna also show you the traffic that they get so you can see that. So I'm gonna kinda of compare all five so you can get a better idea of what these websites are. So you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end so you can see all five as well as another edition of Trend Credits. So I'm gonna do it countdown style with number five being first and end with the best one last. So here's number five. So my pick for number five is Threadless. Let's take a look at some of the shirts on Threadless. You can see here, just really nice artwork. Really cool artwork here, you can see. And the reason for that is Threadless is known for a place where there's design challenges. So let me go here to community design challenges. This is kind of how they get their designs. They have an open design challenge. Here's the current challenge, Black History Month. Let's take a look at that. So a lot of people enter this and they get a lot of good illustrators to enter because you can see here the first place, second place, third place is this cash prize along with what you sell in t-shirts. Let me go back here and show you how you can be part of this. Even if you don't wanna do the competition, I would suggest to try the competition if you're an artist. But if you don't win, you can still submit your stuff in your own artist shop. So you can see here, this is what I started and I'm making sales here on Threadless through my artist shop. So let's click on this. So you can see here their tagline, it's the easiest way to sell your art online. So really targeting those artists. And you can read here and come here and read this for yourself. But basically you upload your designs, create lots of products and spread the word. So many artists are doing this and you have your own website. The only thing I would say about this is the organic traffic is just okay. Because a lot of people are coming here to Threadless. They don't actually have a marketplace for artist shops. You're gonna have to drive traffic to your artist shops. But if you go to threadless.com and you come here and you look at new designs, a lot of times they put your designs in here as well. So as part of these, they will sell yours. So it's, you're gonna have to compete with all these top artists too. So this is kind of their marketplace where they put past winners of the challenges as well as some other th uh, things in here that they like. So it's really curated on what they think will sell. So just so we can compare the same t-shirt prices and the profit, on Threadless Artist Shop, if you sell a $20 shirt, you can get a $5 profit. So you can see here the overall traffic for Threadless, it's getting about 1.81 million visitors per month, that's an average. And we're gonna compare these as well to all the other sites. So that is Threadless, my print-on-demand website number five for this video. So my pick number four is Cafe Press. So I kind of have a soft spot for Cafe Press because this is the first print-on-demand site that I started with back in 2005. So let's take a look at some of the shirts that they do here. You can see just really simple text shirts. They do really well. So Cafe Press is a little bit different than Threadless because Threadless seems to attract a lot of fine artists, a lot of good illustrators, whereas Cafe Press are just the everyday uh, graphic designer. So you can see here different designs, not so much of the drawing type, a lot of more words and graphic design. So you can see like that, these do really well. They show you what's trending here. So politics, Easter, personalization. These are the kind of things that are selling uh, and they have fan art as well. So if you want to go in here, 
you can do Star Trek stuff and, you know, Seinfeld stuff and cheer stuff. I actually do sell a lot of Seinfeld and cheers and things like that. And so they also are big on pets. So if you are a pet lover or love to design for pets, this probably is a good place to go to design your stuff. I wanted to show you a little bit more of kind of the designs that you would find here on Cafe Press, your competition. So you can see here, not that strong artwork. These are the these are the things that are selling on here. So a lot of text ones, a lot of just simple designs, a lot more like Redbubble. So you can see here. But I would say these are even more simple than Redbubble. And you can see Cafe Press also does a lot of different products. So they have t-shirts and tees and sweatshirts, but they also have bags and car accessories and baby stuff and home decor stuff and drinkware and stationery and stickers. So a lot of products that you can put your stuff on a lot like Redbubble. So the one of the things I don't like about Cafe Press is you only get five to 10% commission. So you can see if you had a $20 shirt, that means you would get either $1 or $2 per sale of a $20 shirt. So not as good as Threadless. And their traffic is a little better than Threadless though. You can see here, Cafe Press does about an average of 4.41 million visits per month. So that is my print on demand website, number four, Cafe Press. So they have slightly more traffic than Threadless but they also pay you just a little bit less. So my pick for number three is T Public. So here it is, tpublic.com, and you can see some of the stuff they're doing. So you can see they have a lot of design stuff. They're really pushing face masks right here. They have featured designers as well. You can see these are some of the editor's picks. So some really nice artwork that you would see uh, here. So not text heavy like Cafe Press. I think these are just a little bit better artists on here. Let's go to browse all designs. So by looking here, you can kind of get a feel of what kind of things sell on Tee Public. You may have seen some of these on Redbubble as well if you're on Redbubble. And they still have problems with copyright. So you can see this is from Karate Kid. This is definitely from uh, Muppets here. Strawberry Shortcake. So they got some things uh, that they need to work on, but Cobra Kai again. So they're not so worried about the, the copyright thing. Tatooine. So let's take a look at another one. Bernie. Straight up Skeletor, Buffalo Bill. So, I mean, these are the things that sell on T Public. Uh, I would say not to go after the copyright stuff, you know, do your own stuff, but this is the kind of artwork that you kind of want to do on Tee Public. So just look at that. Kind of look at the designs more than all the copyright stuff, which is kind of sad. So that is it for Tee Public. They also have, they do a lot of apparel, mask, uh, home goods and cases, but Typically, I sell a lot more t-shirts here than anything else. So I actually made more on Tee Public than I did on Redbubble last year, but I'm putting it at number three for several other reasons. So on Tee Public, if you're selling a $20 shirt, the profit you'll get is $4. So you get $4 per sale. And here's their traffic. They have a lot more traffic than Cafe Press. So you can see here 11 million, 11.6 million which is very high compared to Cafe Press. So T Public is still number three for me because my first and second place spots actually have more traffic than this. So let's take a look at number two. So my pick for number two, you may have guessed it, is Redbubble. Redbubble is having some problems right now with a lot of closures and suspensions and tag spamming and all of that, but it's still number two for me because of all the products and potential money you can get on here and they're getting a lot of traffic. So let's look at some of the things that sell well on Redbubble. You can see that they're pushing their mask here. Their stickers are probably the things that sell the most for me. T-shirts is probably the next thing that they sell really well for me. But if you do a Google search for stickers, Redbubble always comes up, so it's great for that. Uh, you can see posters, wall art, clothing, uh, cases and stuff like that. So these are the types of things that sell well on Redbubble. You can see these kinds of designs. So really art centric, really good for designers, illustrators, photographers, all those kinds of artists. 
uh, do really well. These are the things that kind of sell well on Redbubble. Music, movies, sports. So Redbubble is telling you the kinds of themes that sell well on their site. So these are kind of the top things, music, movies, sports, games, funny. So what I would suggest is to go on every print on demand site and just look around because you'll see what they want to promote and what they're promoting are their top designs, things that sell well on their site, things that their audience wants to buy. And so if you can figure out like this style, of course, don't copy pixel for pixel, but you can see like they're more artsy or they're using more text heavy things or they have a lot of good illustrations here. Uh, you can see that's kind of what you need to aim for if you want to sell well on. So let's just do t-shirts, for example. You can see here, again, same themes. These are the best selling. So these are the kinds of things that sell well on Redbubble, right? So Redbubble's profit per sale is if you have a $20 shirt, then you'll only get $3.42. Redbubble's traffic, on the other hand, is way bigger than T Public. So you can see here, they're getting about 39 million visits per month. And because of all the traffic and all the print on demand stuff that they sell, all the different products they sell on, duvet covers, masks, bags, and they continue to add more and more stuff, I'm giving Redbubble my number two spot for the print on demand shops for 2021. So my number one print on demand website is Merch by Amazon. So if you haven't heard of Merch by Amazon, this is where you would go to sign up, merch.amazon.com slash landing. So you can actually sell t-shirts and other products on Amazon through Merch by Amazon. It is Amazon's print on demand service. So unlike the first four websites that I showed, Merch by Amazon is invite only. So not everyone can get on Merch by Amazon. So if you're not on Merch by Amazon, request the invitation here and hopefully they pick you to be on there. But if you can get on, it is a game changer. Merch by Amazon is my number one site because it accounts for 70 to 80% of my overall print on demand sales. So it's just a monster and I think it's gonna continue to grow. It's only about five years old, so one of the newer print on demand services, but it just keeps growing year after year after year and people are making a ton of money on Merch by Amazon. So the best way to see what kind of design sell on Merch by Amazon is to go here, merchinformer.com slash merch dash amazon dash listings slash so merch research here by merch informer you can see us designs us market t-shirts i'm going to hit search here and this is going to pull up all the top selling t-shirts merch by amazon t-shirts on amazon so you can see they all kind of look like the same t-shirt so you, you can tell that it's a merch by amazon t-shirt but you are competing here with Star Wars and Cobra Kai and, you know, there's Star Wars again, Godzilla and Peanuts. They know that selling on Amazon is a thing to do and you can make a lot of money by selling t-shirts on Amazon. So, of course, this is a great deal for all of us who are not even these big brands to sell on Amazon. One of the benefits for selling on Merch by Amazon is prime shipping. People love prime shipping. People love to buy on Amazon. It's a trusted site and you get so much traffic. So if you take a look at the artwork here on Amazon, these are not professional illustrators that are doing this, not like Threadless like we see on Threadless. Um, these are just, you know, an average graphic designer can do really well on Merch by Amazon. So you can see here just drawing a dinosaur, um, Let's see, lots of words, shirts, you know, text heavy shirts, uh, dabbing here. So just like fun stuff. So if you have that kind of skill or, or know of a graphic designer for those skills, you can do really well on Merch by Amazon. So you can see it's not fine art in any way. So, to, but nice, there's still nice art. So those are your examples of what kind of designs sell well on Amazon through Merch by Amazon. So not only does Merch by Amazon have the traffic that Amazon has, but their profit is big too. So you can see for a $20 shirt now, you get a $5.24 profit for selling a $20 shirt. That's the highest of the ones that I shared today. For that reason and the traffic that Amazon gets, you can see 
3 billion visits per month. Now, of course, that's not just for the t-shirt side, but even a fraction of that is going to be awesome. So you get the traffic, you get the profit, and you get a chance to sell on Amazon, the best place to sell on the internet. Why would you not want to do that? So I'm giving Merch by Amazon my number one spot for print-on-demand sites for 2021. I think it's just going to keep getting better and better. So that is it for my print-on-demand video. Hopefully you like it. Let me know in the comments if those are the top five that you would pick. Those are my personal top five. So if you're a designer like me or design things like me, I think that will help you out this year. Of course, you're going to have to look for your own style. Look through all those print on demand sites. I'm going to put links in the description to all those five websites so that you can take a look and see what kind of artwork they sell on there, kind of what their audience is. So you can decide for yourself if that's something you want to get into. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you to decide. It's better to have more than one print on demand site just so you can kind of diversify your income. So if something happens like Redbubble shutting down your account, uh, you have some of these other print on demand sites that you can use to make more money. So, so when you create designs for these print on demand shops, they're non-exclusive uh, unless you're doing the fan art ones, of course. But if you're doing your own designs, they're non-exclusive, so you can put them on all five of these sites if you want and then see how well the organic traffic is and how well they do. Each site will probably sell different ones. You'll probably have different top sellers in each of these. So have fun with this. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching and your reward is another edition of Trend Credits. Thanks for joining me on this Trend Credits. Here is your trend, Jewish Space Laser. So I don't know who said it, you can check Google, but someone mentioned Jewish space lasers and it just blew up here on Amazon. Of course, people went and designed t-shirts for it. So you can see here very low BSRs and different ways you can do it just with graphics or graphics and text or just text and some smaller graphics or just text itself. They do well. So all kinds of ways, just do your own style. Don't copy any of these, do it in your own style. Um, and here is the competition checker on Merch Informer. It's getting an A, so you know it's good. Uh, don't forget, I have a link in the description for Merch Informer if you don't have it already, where you can check competition and see if it's good to design for it. So that is your trend, Jewish space laser. Again, make your own idea, come up with your own ideas uh, on this one. There's lots of ways to do this. Thanks so much for staying till the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If this video gave you some value, hit that thumbs up, give it a like. It really helps the algorithm. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. And as always, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.